Number four, inconsistent use of colors. Um, well, this one is, uh, <laughs> this is a hard topic. Color is a hard topic, but like having 30 different colors in a report or even in just one part of the report in, in one chart, that's way, way, way too much. So it, it, this is impossible to read. This is the reason why tree maps, you know, the visuals like tree maps and also visuals like stacked column charts are very, very tricky and you should uh, use them with a great caution, you know, so do not put a lot of elements inside or replace them again with bar charts. So problem number one is just way too many colors. Uh, this is what I see in, in all Power BI reports, more or less. So just way, way too many colors. The dashboards can look really nice. So for example, this one has a nice color scheme. I mean, it's uh, it's pleasant uh, and it has no uh, nice colors, slightly desaturated and so on. In this case, I would say, all right, this is probably a little bit, a little bit too much here uh, using all of those colors here, but there's a different problem here. Um, um, there are less colors than, than before, but the second problem is that exactly the same color represents totally different things from chart to chart, for example. So in, in this case, I have some sales, right? And then in this case, in this case, the blue color, exactly the same blue color represents business data category as opposed to coach, for example. And then I take a look at another chart. The blue color represents external data category. Of course, if you're assigning uh, colors to every, ch to every chart completely independently of all the other charts that you have on, on a dashboard, right? This will happen. This will happen because you're using a, a, a color theme and then, you know, uh, Power BI will just take the colors from your theme and and you know you will end up with this problem here so um now the question is all right how do you assign the the, the colors right so the the idea the idea here is um to achieve consistency every time each color means the same thing if possible right and then uh to in order to do this when you have a lot of data categories like this is just reduce the color. So first of all, if you, um, if you um, pull the pie charts from your dashboards, you will not need all of those colors, right? Because you will simply present each of, each of these data categories in a bar chart again. And, and you know, this will reduce your colors. You will just get rid of uh, those six colors here. Right, you can just use one, just the blue, for example. And then, uh, then second thing. So um, uh, the second thing here would be, now I have charts like this one. This one is interesting below here because it says budget remaining, probably actual minus budget, right? It's, it's actually a variance. It's a variance in million dollars. This means that, all right, here we were below the budget. So why not use, use red? and then use green color here, okay? And then you have a concept because now you start using colors and actually saturated colors, strong colors for the variances, okay? Which brings me uh, to a few examples. If you follow this principle, you know, to, to, to the end, uh, then you would actually just have some uh, you know, we start with some neutral, completely desaturated colors um, for, you know, normal comparisons and so on. But then, then in the next step, use saturated colors for the variances. Are things changing or not, right? This is where information is, right? And this is, this is where you will then use the color, right? So which basically, you know, so, uh, like in this example, I'm only using three colors, maybe four colors, so light gray, black or, or dark gray and red green very simple and why why is this one why is this one light gray with this border right because this is a plan and this is the actual right so it's not the same plan is something different from the actual sales right so that's why i'm using using uh, a different notation here for the plan but i'm not using, not using a different color for that Right? I'm just using a different, uh, slightly different shape here with this uh, 
outline because a plan is like an outline that you steer and then you fill it up with your actuals uh, as you sell your products, for example. Okay, and then if you uh, follow this principle, you see that things will become, will be much more clear and my attention now is really focused and it's guided by the color that is applied to the variances. So for example, here, my attention goes probably, probably into this chart because I see a lot of red color here and I have this big variance from the plan. So um, 33% below the plan, right? Something is not okay in, in the woman's category. So my attention is here. Uh, I understand this. And now I can analyze what's going on with the woman's clothing and, uh, you know, I will take action, right? But even uh, with financial statements like income statements and so on, there's no need for all of those colors.